Have you ever wondered how hostels in Singapore are still surviving during this COVID-19 period? We can see the government providing strong support for hotels from subsidising staycations with vouchers to housing COVID-positive people for quarantine in hotels. But how about hostels? Well, I took the liberty to book one of the cheapest hostels I could find in Singapore to find out how staying in a hostel is like. When I was booking the hostel, I was shocked to find out that the hostel was almost fully booked. I mean, are tourists or locals actually staying in hostels? Anyways, I went ahead and made a booking for around $18 a night. And this was how the hostel looked like. Check in. Uh, yeah, but he is mixed room. It's not sharing. Uh, I mean, we mixed room. I mix the girl, mix the boy and girl. So. Mm. Are you just care for formation or? No, I I just I just wanted a break. <laughs> I just give you the stay here because here all men, not girl. Oh, do not okay, okay, okay. So, so I, I stay in the girls' room lah. Yeah, you have mixed mixed lah. Oh. At least I don't have girl lah. The nice receptionist that I've met actually gave me a room upgrade as the room that I booked online was occupied fully by men. We are looking one girl only, two men. Ah. Two men, yeah. Okay. Can you see your suspicion that I cannot stay in here because here is hostel and hotel. Oh, so yeah. Singaporeans cannot stay here because... Yeah, it's there, there is the answer. You can stay there, not allow la. Mm. If you want to stay here, if you want relation, you need to stay in the hotel. Here is hostel. Oh. Yeah, if you want to protect yourself, you can feel quality. <laughs> The receptionist told me that locals were not supposed to stay over for leisure and that the hostel was mainly used to house foreigners or people without homes. I found it strange why I could still book it online. And this was how the room looked. There were luggages and belongings left all around the room. Each pot had a blind to give some privacy, which did not look very clean and couldn't be closed fully. I could see my roommate's pot from the gap. So this was the interior of the pot, spacious enough for one. It has some light switches for the lights, a table, charging pots, a TV button that doesn't work, a power plug, storage items, and a reminder for guests. Just then, I heard a voice. It was my roommate. Okay. Yeah, that's for going up first. Oh, uh, this one's sleeper. Yeah, thank you so much. My roommate, a Singaporean man in his 50s, warned me against people coming in at night and my belongings getting stolen. Honestly, it did strike some fear in me. Because it feels different from what I envision it to be like. Yeah, so I'm not very sure of what to expect currently. Should I go home? Anyways, I lied around for a while before deciding to explore the hostel. I kept my things in the locker and headed out. This was how the hostel looked on the inside. It had long corridors of rooms and the toilet was clean and simple. Clothes were hung in the corridor resembling a home. Oh man, it was not really... <laughs> okay, now I just face this direction. So cannot see you. Yeah, okay, la, up to you. When, when do you start staying here? Quite long. I think about October. Eh? Since October? September, October, around this month. Oh, since October last year? This, uh, uh, last year, sorry. Before October, where do you stay? Clarkey, Clarkey. Clarkey? Yeah. In another hostel? Correct. Oh, so you have been staying like between different hostels? Yeah, little India, then the one Marina Sultan Mosque, another mm. place there, then, then Kaki and here. Mm. But you know better. Mm. All the funny, funny people around. <laughs> <laughs>
why why didn't you rent an apartment outside? Uh, prefer here. You prefer here. Yeah, on my friend houses. You know, just talk talk, then I go back. Mm. Then I come back to the pit. Mm. That's what I like. Okay lah. So so how long will you be staying in this house though? Settle my problem first. Uh. Family mm. problem. Oh yeah, family problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. I see Chinese very good life. Uh. Chinese? Your race, uh, sorry, uh, your race. Good life. Uh. Why? But why are these guys follow Chinese girls? They behind they will talk. Oh, so so they will say like if you walk behind a girl then they will talk about you. Yeah. Why is this guy pulling another girl? Chinese or Indian again? Okay. For 40 years I've been working in the service. Oh, you have been working for 40 years? No, 39. Coming to 40 years. Wow, 40 yeah. years in cold storage. Yeah. Yeah, I work like cleaner job. That's what I can do at night. Oh, uh. uh, after that you change to cleaner job. Uh. Then, then what are your dreams now? I sit down there and talk to your youngster here. Mm -hmm. I want to attack you. What? Let's talk. How are you? That's all. But, but will you ever move home? Like after... I think I settle my problem first. Mm. Then I say, I won't be seeing him anymore. I won't be seeing him or anything. Then I go, hey, don't, don't spoil your life here. Study, go to other country. Mm. Don't get a chance to go. Work for it. Don't be like old men and then. I can do all that, but I just can't be voted already. Mm. My mood all gone already. Too tired. You and feel too tired. I'm sick of life already. All this problem having. After interviewing my roommate, I decided to approach the receptionist and ask a few questions. Okay, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. How will COVID-19 affect the hostel? Like, how are hostels affected? Because my mom has been able to check in for 4 hours, so you can check in for 4 hours. Yes. It's also a lot of <笑>比较有安全性一点哦嗯嗯嗯因为你们现在四个房位来那那还有钱赚吗还有钱没有钱放在那里然后房子比较便宜因为之前是二十八块嘛现在变成二十二块这样子嗯所以不是拉拉好